I think no one gonna watch our videos anymore, man. Why? Because Microsoft Azure recently combined GPT-4 with some other Azure computer vision models, which means mm -hmm. now you can add not only your images, but also your videos to chat GPT and chat with your videos, even if they don't have transcripts. Wow, this is amazing. That means now I can start enjoying my weekends instead of recording these videos. You know what? I'm leaving. What are you up to? I'm going to enjoy my New Year's holidays. By the way, I'm pretty sure one day they will implement ChatGPT in human brain so they will know all the answers and no one need to educate himself on anything. See you later. Maybe not. Happy New Year, my friend! He's got down right. Happy New Year! Let's go! Before we start, make sure you subscribe and hit the bell icon so you will get notified for the next video. Thank you. All right, welcome everyone to this video. I'm quite honest, I'm very excited about what I'm gonna show you, which is pretty cool. And it's based on one of the recent announcements by Microsoft Azure. So this is Azure OpenAI Playground, Chat Playground. If you don't know what is Azure OpenAI and Azure OpenAI compared to OpenAI, I have already created a video out of it. I call it Azure OpenAI, and I will add the video to the top right of the screen. Check that out if you know what's Azure OpenAI. So let's get into his playground. This is like ChatGPT. You start asking your questions, and there's a model from OpenAI to respond. And the model that is responding my chat is GPT-4. So we all know based on what OpenAI announced, the new GPT-4 is capable of understanding images. That means right now I can upload images and start chatting about that image, right? But the cool thing that I'm gonna talk about today is enhancing these vision capabilities by some other vision models from Azure AI services, previously known as Azure Cognitive Services. So if I enable that, and look at this, not only I can upload images, but also up can upload videos. So you have to create Azure AI service first. How you can do that, I click on setting. This is the one that I created before MJCV Computer Vision. If you don't see anything, you have to create Azure Computer Vision service. So what is on the back end? Like what are these models that they complement GPT-4 for these great image and video capabilities, which I'm gonna show you quickly. But before we test that out, this is Vision Studio. These are the models on the back end of Azure Computer Vision Service. So think about this like de object detection, doing some video retrieval, recognizing products, removing background, detecting faces stuff. That wouldn't be amazing if we could combine all of that with GPT model. This is amazing. So the main one that we're gonna use to upload our video, gonna use video retrieval model from Azure Cognitive, uh, sorry, Azure Cognitive Vision added to GPT-4. So let's give it a try. So this is the video retrieval demo. You can upload a sample video to give uh, test that out, but let's use one of the sample videos. For example, here, this is an 11 minute video I haven't seen by myself, but I can query this video without watching it. For example, I can write one or say, show me the place that there's a milk on the floor. I click on search. It immediately go to that section of the video and show me what's going on based on my query. So this model is capable of detecting the highlight, the main events of a video and make it searchable for you so you can perceive a video content better without you necessarily watching it all. We're not having any transcripts here. I'm not using video transcripts or text out of this video actually. It used combination of NLP and computer vision techniques. Okay, so when we had chat GPT previously with GPT 3.5, you could see people created some YouTube plugins that you can chat and ask about some YouTube videos without watching them. But those plugins, they use the video transcript, which is a text of those YouTube videos to answer your questions. But here we're gonna see, I can upload a video that there's no transcript and I can start chatting with it. For example, I'm gonna ask, tell me what you see in this video. This is not a transcript of the video. It's gonna tell me I see bottles, these green bottles, I see fruits. So it uses computer vision techniques as well. 
which is a great enhancement so going back to playground now you know when i enable this what's going to be happening on the back end and what model is going to be used so let's give it a try i'm going to clear the chat and you know what i'm going to upload one of my images i would say let's say this one this is actually the thumbnail that i created for the previous youtube video and this is a simple image of the source that i use for creating a thumbnail out of it for example here's a car accident image i'm gonna say explain this image so i'm gonna show you what's the difference of adding a picture when this vision is enabled versus adding the picture when there is no vision enabled. So if it was just GPT-4, it could say, hey, I see this and that. But as you can see, when I enable vision, it not only explains what it sees in the image, but also it, it detected some like objects or some highlights of the, of the picture. For example, when I click on a car, it showed me the box that it detected car. It sort of remind me this capability right so let's go back or oh, i see the license plate i click on this there you go the license plate has been detected and it can also show me the plate number as well object character recognition so this is the capabilities of vision added this not only for images i can do this for videos now this is the cool part i'm gonna upload a video and the video that i'm gonna upload is the trimmed version of GPT Pilot, the previous YouTube video I created. So it has my intro. Let me actually show you first. Um, it has my intro. It has the my note at the beginning of the video. And then it jumped to the tutorial part that I show you the, the chart of how GPT Pilot works, right? I can play the video for you quickly when it's uploaded. So let's wait a little bit. Okay, now it's uploaded. And I can just tell, explain this video. Just want to know the highlights, what's going on, what's this video about without watching it. So if I hit enter, I think yeah, I can play the video here while it is answering the question. So you can see it is using that retrieval model to retrieve some main highlights frames of the video. So if I play that, you could see that at the beginning of the video, I'm talking about GPT Pilot, that without any code, you can create an application. Then it goes to this sort of intro video that I always add to the videos. And then it jump to the subscribe part and then talking about this GPT pilot workflow overview. So not only I do have transcripts, but also I have some visual information added. And again, I could upload a video without any transcript too. So for example, you can upload a video of an, a nature and then just ask this model, hey, tell me how can I get there, where this place is. So it shouldn't have any sound even. Okay, so let's see if it can, okay, it said that 20 frames are selected from this video to tell me what's going on. There you go, this video contains about GPT Pilot. This is the previous video, that's great. And it talks about what GPT Pilot is. And then the next section after, it talks about the part that I mentioned, subscribing the channel. Uh, then it is talking about that chart, which is the tutorial part, the product owner agent. This is the part. So it is amazing. I just uploaded video. It can be even longer and it fully explain what's going on here. And I can ask questions, for example, does this video talk about this and that, like chatting or asking any question you want, but I'm gonna save the time. Just wanna showcase you, showcase you the capability, okay? So let me clear the chat. Now I talked about uploading images and videos with the enhancement of some other Azure AI vision models, okay? But how about not uploading manually here? Let's say I have thousands of images and I want to chat with those images. For example, show me the product image that I have, which is, for example, a, a, a jean, a shirt with this amount of price. This is a chat that I'm creating for my customers when they're going to purchase one of the clothes from a store. They can chat and, and search and query my images, right? So in order to do so, you need to add your data. This is very similar to Rack Retrieval Augmented Generation. We talked about that, how to chat with your PDF files, chat with a uh, text file, and now chatting with images. So you click on Add a Data Source. You can have your images indexed in Azure AI Search, formerly known as Cognitive Search. You can upload, have your images already in Blob Storage or upload them. Here I'm gonna say I'm gonna upload them. So where I have to select the storage to upload them. Let's select something random. I really don't care for now. 
uh, you need to have a AI search or formerly known as cognitive search created before make sure you have that or you already created before so I'm gonna select it and of course for getting an index out of your images you have to give it a name I call it images I acknowledge that using GPT for Turbo, the one that we use with Vision, uses vector embeddings. I know. And acknowledge connecting to Azure AI search. Clicking on next. And now I can upload the images. So I can say I want to upload this tumbling of GPT pilot and this car accident. I click on upload. Clicking on next. So the cool part here is I uploaded the images, but I'm able to also add metadata about the images too. This is helpful. Why? Because when I query this image, for example, when I say, imagine that this is a picture of a shirt. So when I query, for example, give me a shirt with the color blue. Okay, it can capture that from the image. With the price, let's add, let's lower than $20 okay so the amount of this shirt which is twenty dollars is not added in the image but i could add that in the video description sorry image description so when i query and chat with my images it uses both the image content but description but even without having the description i can search these images too because i'm using vision capabilities not just text capabilities okay so let's actually give it a try I want to add no description I call it test and this one I call it test too okay so totally irrelevant description I gonna see if I can retrieve this image or not and I'm gonna show you how so as you can see I have another image which is this one and I use this one to create this time so I'm gonna upload this and ask if I can query any similar images to this to this one based on this given image to see if it can find the similarity and query my database so I click on next it's gonna create uh, an index for me I already created that before so I'm not going to save it so I click on cancel I just simply add a data source I have already created this before so it is in my AI search and I think this is the one that I use let me see yes I created that before I acknowledge next save and close now you can see I'm connected to my index that I have these two images so if I go to this index in Azure AI search you will see that the car accident and the top nail of GPT pilot has been added with the description test one and test two so descriptions are irrelevant now if I go back to the playground I have added this data I can then upload this image that the model has never seen and it is not inside my database or index data I'm gonna say first explain this image there you go there you go as you can see because we have vision enabled uh, not only explain fully this is an image of a guy wearing a black hoodie it also detected some components of the image for example uh, this one I think that should be referring to a logo okay a globe interesting it captured this a mug here a pair of headphones wow that's very well detail oriented the desk a black hoodie a person which is me here logo this is mg logo actually got detected so now what i'm going to do the data that we have indexed or our collection of images it already has uh, the thumbnail of gpt pilot let me show you again so as you can see, this is the timeline of GPT Pilot I use, and I use this image to create this timeline. Now this timeline has been added to the index. Now you're gonna see if it can find this image because it's very similar to this one. So what I would say, I say that, um, do I have similar image to this one in my collection? Let's see if we can find that out. There you go. It says that, yes, you have a similar image in your collection. Okay, I want to ask, then tell me more. I'm going to find it, actually. So what, what is that image that is very similar to this one? Because let's say I have thousands of images in my database. I don't know which one you're talking about, okay? So let's see what it's going to respond. All right, it answered me some specific information about the image that I'm looking for, but I said that, no, tell me the information of the image you found from my collection, which is very similar to this one. So it told me the image that I identified, it has this name and you have updated that on December 30. If I go back to my index data, you see that this is the image that I found with that given last update. So it sort of queried my collection and told me that this image is very close to the one that I uploaded.
So what is this image? If I show you WER, there you go. That's the GPT Pilot thumbnail that it found for me from my collection, very similar to this one. So, of course, this is like a demo. We are playing with this tool, but if you want to create an actual chatbot out of it, you need to code, right? So don't worry. If you click on view code, it will give you all the backend side, how it is calling API and vision model, and I explain this stuff for me. We saw, you saw that I can add even thousands of images index here, not just two. And you can have this chatbot deployed over a web app or have this API getting called in a chatbot that you can launch it for your customer service on the website. For example, if you're selling any product like clothes I mentioned, someone like me gonna purchase something, I'm gonna show you that, ask you that, hey, I'm looking for a jeans with these colors, with this shirt, um, with this amount, for example, maximum, give me something. You need to then retrieve some information from your information of the products, the metadata of the images. Or sometimes I'm gonna upload an image from a gene that I loved a lot. I saw a guy purchase that and I'm gonna upload that to your website and say that, hey, Brand X, do you have some gene similar to the one that I uploaded but in a lower amount of price because the one that I wanted was pretty expensive? So it could query and find similar images and products based on the criteria and give it to you. So these are, again, this is a very simple example of how you can create this, uh, leverage this great capability. And I'm pretty sure you will come up with thousands of different ideas as soon as you see this capability, which is my purpose here for creating this video. So if you like that, make sure you click on like and write down your comments. That not only helped me to understand what you think and what you expect for upcoming contents, and I can learn from you about your ideas as well. And that absolutely helped to promote the video so more people can watch enjoy and to get a great impact thanks a lot and see you in the next video the emotionally mature man seeks out motivation to do something hard one time but emotionally mature man use discipline to do a hard thing a thousand times dream big my friends believe in yourself and take action till next video Take your good care.